Dr. Jason Fang, a Hi. nephrologist from Canada. Welcome. Oh, thanks very much. Yeah, so I treat people on dialysis. Uh, that's a lot of what I do. And it's very disheartening to, because what happens is that when they develop their disease, they're so sick. But the diabetes itself is actually quite reversible. If you go to the diabetes associations, uh, whether it's the American Diabetes Association or the Diabetes Australia, they all put out there that this is a chronic disease. And they tell people essentially that you have diabetes, you'll have it for the rest of your life, you might as well get used to it. The disease is actually reversible. But you have to know how to reverse it. If you don't know how to reverse it, then you're just going to get worse. And the thing is that the drugs don't actually do anything for the disease. And this is also not controversial because the thing is that type 2 diabetes is a disease of too much insulin resistance. And that's not controversial. Everybody acknowledges that, right? So if you have very high insulin resistance, it's going to cause high blood sugar, right? But that's the symptom of the disease. The disease is actually too much insulin resistance. So the treatments that we give are all targeted at blood sugar, right? That doesn't make any sense because it's almost like to give an analogy. If you have an infection, if you have a leg infection, well, you need to treat that infection. So what was causing it was bacteria. You give antibiotics. But that infection can give you a fever. But that fever is not the disease. That's what we've done with type 2 diabetes. We're treating the blood sugar, but it's not, a, it's not a disease of the blood sugar. It's a disease of too much insulin resistance. So what happens is that because we're not treating the disease, the disease tends to progress then the answer is to get that sugar out, get it down. So the first thing you need to do is cut out all the sugar, cut out a lot of these refined carbohydrates, which are just sugar. So the breads and the pastas, right? So they're all chains of sugar. That's all carbohydrates are, chains of sugar. As you eat them, they get broken down into sugar. So if you have too much sugar, if diabetes is essentially too much sugar, you got to stop taking sugar. Otherwise, you're going to make it worse. So that's probably the first thing. You can do more exercise, try and burn it off. And the other thing that you can do is try to do something more extreme, such as fasting, for instance. So fasting is actually the most efficient and the most effective way to lower insulin. There's really no drug that does it. There are actually two, but they're not very effective to lower insulin. But if you understand that the disease is too much sugar, too much insulin, then you got to say... Well, if it's too much sugar, too much insulin, let's get rid of the sugar, let's get the insulin down. How am I going to do that, right? So the thing about the sugar, you can go on a very low-carb diet, a ketogenic diet, and that will get your sugars down. But it doesn't necessarily get your insulin down because the proteins and the fats still raise insulin. Not to the same degree that carbohydrates do, but they still raise insulin. So you can get that sugar down, but you won't get that insulin down. So you can actually put people on various periods of fasting because you're not taking anything uh, it's it's not simply low carb it's low protein and low fat right it's nothing nothing at all so think about what's going to happen here the body is not going to have anything coming in so what it's going to happen is it's going to start burning that sugar and that's perfect that's exactly what we wanted to do it starts burning sugar burning sugar after it burns the sugars your sugars come down you don't have to take medications you don't have to take insulin after that, it starts burning fat. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. And what, they, what happens during the fast is that your insulin levels go down. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. But, so what we're doing is we're burning off all that sugar and getting it out of the system. Right? As opposed to just getting it out of the blood, we're actually getting it out of the entire body. So the fasting does both things. It lowers the insulin and it lowers uh, the sugars. What's interesting when you look at fasting is that studies of fasting show the exact opposite. You don't have less energy, you have more energy. So there are certain things that get activated when you're fasting. So growth hormone goes up, for instance, to preserve lean muscle. Then you'd start burning just fat. Adrenaline goes up to give you more energy. And you're fueling all that energy with fat because you can measure free fatty acids in the blood and they go up. So What's happening is that you're burning fat, you're preserving your muscle, and you've got plenty of energy. Perfect. That is like the perfect treatment. <laughs>